Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I have a bulk lot of Belleville to unbox. I just got it in the mail, it's around 10 pounds, and I'm super excited. So let's get started. All right, so this is supposed to be around 10 pounds of Belleville. This is possibly the most excited I've ever been about getting a bulk lot. I have only ever one other time gotten a sizable Belleville bulk lot before. They are so incredibly rare to come across. And the last time was when I was in high school. I think it was 2008 I bought a six pound bulk lot of Belleville. So usually it's just small lots. It'll be like two or three pounds at most. And because of the size of the pieces, it just depends on how many pieces that really is. But this one looked to be a huge amount of just pieces, parts from sets, some of which are sets that I am trying to complete. And then most of it is just stuff I already have and will be parting out for BrickLink because I like to be the United States number one Belleville fan for BrickLink, so trying to help other people who like Belleville complete their sets. So I really like kind of specializing in selling Belleville parts. So first I'm gonna show you a couple of the larger things that were in here just to get them out of the way. It came with two of these fabric pieces. So at first glance, if you don't know, you probably wouldn't even guess this was a Belleville piece, but it is, and it came with two of them. They only came in one set though, and that set is 5834 The Enchanted Garden, and that's a set I've been working on piecing together for like the last year or so. So it comes on this mat, and then it comes with this base plate. So I already have both of those pieces, but I'm missing like the figures for the set and then a variety of pieces. So there are two of these base plates also included, which is pretty crazy. So I'm hoping between the partial set I have and what appears to be two partial sets in this lot, I'll be able to complete that set because it's a very rare set and I'm not entirely sure it was even well distributed in the US just based on how hard it is to get the pieces or the entire set here. So really excited about that. Um, there were quite a few minifigures. There were several larger chunks included, all these kind of plates and things. They could go to a variety of different sets. So I'm not gonna individually look those up, but several of these included in any kind of fun color you could imagine. I always think these would also be great to do kind of a larger scale Lego Habitat on. I just think they're really cute with the little corner designs. There was a bag that included some instruction manuals, but it appeared for the most part they're in pretty rough condition. There were some of the cute little books though that they used to put in with these sets, and those seem to be in better shape. So I do love those a lot. But the instruction manuals, if nothing else, will at least help me decipher some of the sets that might be in this lot. I don't really plan on completing sets for resale. I really just prefer to part them out because I just feel like a lot of the time people are trying to complete sets on BrickLink opposed to buying completed sets. If there's a smaller set that seems to be complete, I might do that, but I'm not gonna go for a big set. I almost don't know where to start because it's just so much color so much crazy excitement, I just can't wait. There were quite a few minifigures included, but a lot of them were incomplete. So see, she's missing legs, hand. This does not bother me a whole lot because I've gotten so many bulk lots over the years that I just keep all the partial figures and complete them when I get a new lot in. So. Here is a bag of figures that I already have that are all partials. They're missing hand, foot, whatever. Some amount of them is incomplete. So when I get more in, it just means that I can start putting the puzzles together and completing more of them. So I'm not really bothered a whole lot when the figures aren't completed or they're you know missing parts or whatever because it just means I can use them to help complete other figures. Some of them were complete, so not all of them were broken but really isn't a whole lot of a big deal for me because I can just complete ones I already have sitting around. That's cool. 
So that's a Belleville sprue. It's only missing one of the pieces. It's pretty neat that they're still intact. That's a cowboy hat. That's not even Belleville. I did see a couple of sporadic pieces that look like they were just from regular Lego sets. This is one of my favorite colors Belleville produced. It's just light blue, so there's bright light blue, and this is slightly more muted, and it's just called light blue, and I always think that's such a really pretty color. Not a whole lot of sets have that color in it. It's a little bit more on the rare side. This is actually a necklace. If you don't know Belleville, you'd probably see this and think, that's not even Lego, but it actually is. That is a Lego Belleville or Scallon necklace. bathtub. <laughs> oh, I love those doors. Really pretty doors. I keep promoting these doors. I know I keep doing that, but they're so pretty. And if you want to build like a huge entrance way for a set, you could totally use these doors just like they did in that Hogwarts second edition castle. You wouldn't even have to know that it's a Belleville piece. Tons of tower pieces included in here. Got a chrome silver teapot. It's a super cool piece. Love the translucent pieces. I actually just sold two of these to someone the other day. So I only had two, so it'll be nice to have another one to sell again. Birdcage, a super cool piece, usually pretty expensive. I actually need this one to complete a set, so I'm excited that that's in there. I think there's part of a Harry Potter set in here, the Gryffindor common room set, because both of those pieces are in there. Great set. I always thought these were cool. There's a ton of these included. They're actually little butterfly clips. They bring the early 2000s back into style. These tend to be pretty expensive, but I know I definitely need a blue one for the set I'm trying to complete. Got a book. Honestly, I'm not even sure which pieces to show because every piece in here is amazing and comes in such cool colors. Little perfume bottle. The sprue for this, I think I saw in here. Yeah. That's what they came off of. This is a really cool piece. I hope the camera will pick it up. This is a crown in translucent green, which obviously could be used for a regular size minifigure. I actually just sold one of these too. That's so random. Orange spider. Another really cool translucent light blue plate. Got a yellow teddy bear. The teddy bears tend to go for a little bit of money. This has always been a favorite piece of mine. They use the chef hat, but printed to make it look like a muffin. It's a light gray sword. I don't know what that goes to, because I'm 99% sure that's not Belleville. Maybe more Harry Potter. Ice skate, super cool piece. Oh yeah, that's definitely another Harry Potter set. Always love this chalkboard piece. I think it's super cool. That's so funny because for me, Harry Potter and Belleville are probably like, probably two of my top themes. So, you know, outside of like classic Pirates, Castle, Space, those kind of themes, Harry Potter and Belleville are probably my two favorites. So getting a little bit of both combined, it's awesome. <laughs> it's a unique piece. Another traditional Lego piece, but in a fun light green color. The jewel on top there is translucent medium blue. And if you're not familiar, that's actually a pretty rare color for that jewel piece. And I've seen quite a few of those mixed in here, so that's always a good piece to get. All these classic snowflakes. I might have to turn some of these into some Christmas ornaments. I have been needing these tires and wheels. That's another piece that goes to that first set I showed you all. Pink wheels, super cool. I'm always surprised by how many sprues I find in this kind of stuff. There have been a lot, whether they include the parts or not, but just that people still have them after 20 years. It's just crazy to me. Tray, that's a cool piece. So super excited to get started on this. I absolutely love Belleville and 
I will continue defending it for forever. I have been working on completing the series for a long time now. It gets harder and harder every year, but I have been able to cross off quite a few sets from my list and I'm hopeful to get to complete at least the one set I've been working on, maybe see if there's anything else in here worth completing. But if not, all of this stuff will be going to Bricklink. So if you have any interest in just getting pieces from Belleville, opposed to an entire set, because there are so many great pieces included in Belleville sets, you're more than welcome to check out my store. But if not, I hope you at least enjoyed seeing a little bit of what all comes in a Belleville bulk lot purchase. So I will be working on this for the next couple of weeks. Very excited to get started. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.